Thank you, Martin. Uh, I am William Zhou from POSCO. Uh, today, I would, I would like to talk about the Hyperloop infrastructure uh, and how to make it smart and sustainable. Uh, it's a very uh, typical trending word, two words, <coughs> smart and sustainable. And how? Um, using new steels and new tube design. And this picture shows the whole things about the uh, our idea about we are trying to use the two tracks for the conventional tube uh, we can apply some new steel and uh, for, the, for the other uh, second option is using uh, wholly new types of uh, tube. Uh, in this page you can see unintentionally our two CEOs, uh, they are holding a sample of a steel for Hyperloop. Uh, actually, Tata Steel and POSCO are two uh, big steel company in the world. We supply a, a lot of uh, steel globally, and there are so many um, various types of steel, so, uh, and we have a very strong uh, research fundamentals uh, in our in-house research and laboratory and facilities so we are very focused on to the R&D and through that we are not only uh, supply chain and uh, supply steel but also we want to supply some uh, solution to the customers uh, through that we can uh, be a good partnership uh, with our customers and three years ago, POSCO and Tata Steel agreed to uh, investment to the research R&D uh, about the Hyperloop industry. Through that, we can uh, get a uh, better goal in the Hyperloop industry. So our two CEOs are why, uh, getting together, holding the sample of Hyperloop Steel. Uh, let's focus on to the infrastructure. Uh, one uh, technician is welding uh, our uh, tube for the EHC, the European Hyperloop Center. And actually, the infrastructure infrastructure structure needs very huge initial investment. Um, it depends on the calculation, the, but the, it's up to. 50 or 60 percent of the total cost should be in, uh, invested to the infrastructure. So it's very important. And uh, infrastructure structure will stay in place for, for a very long time. Uh, even though we can change the vehicle or some software or something else easily, but it's not easy to change the infrastructure. So we need to optimize uh, at first and we need some compatibility with other systems. And I, I can use some new infrastructure structure technology for new mode of transportation, like a new bag for new wine. And so Tata Steel and POSCO have chosen two tracks, two elements. First, I can mention before, new steel, and second, we can uh, find a new type of tube. Uh, steel is the preferred material for Hyperloop. Uh, steel enables the future of mobility in several ways. Uh, as you can see in this picture, there are so many uh, already made uh, tubes and steel is very optimal material for tubes uh, compared to the alternatives in many ways, like uh, in strength and air tightness and durability and manufacturability. Um, steel, steel for tube is well matched with the uh, electrical steel for track and in terms of functionality and also in supply. You can order the same com or company with this, a track steel and steel for tube. And steel is suitable for mass production and mass supply and 
and it gives a very uniform properties. Uh, still is also fully re recyclable, so it still is a better, better solution for the Hyperloop. So Tata Steel and Postcore have introduced new impro improved steel grade, uh, like a Postloop 355 uh, for Postco side, MP2 355 for Tata Steel side. Our new steel grade have been produced uh, in the tube and already supplied for the EHC in, in the Netherlands. And steel can be uh, produced uh, very, in, in a very lower uh, carbon emission. And this steel grade has been tested already and it gives with the minimum yield strength of uh, 355 megapascal is, is, uh, is very enough to hold the whole strength, hold stress level. And we control the uh, yield to tensile ratio uh, under uh, 0.8 to uh, maintain more resistance to earthquake, and also improve the damping ratio uh, to control the vibration control. As mentioned uh, in the morning, there is also sound issues and also a vibration issue. Through this steel, we can uh, reduce the uh, vibration sound issues. Uh, also, uh, we did some tests uh, using the real size tube. Um, as you can see on the right side of the picture, uh, usual structural steel we made, and also uh, we newly developed post loop 355 was made to uh, tube. And it's a, it's a dimension is uh, with a diameter of 1.4 meter and with a thickness of 16 millimeter and the length of eight meter is a whole uh, size. And we uh, hang that to two tubes uh, to exclude the other boundary condition. And this um, impact test and also uh, measured some vibration with the accelerometer. Then we can uh, calculate, it, calculate uh, the vibration mode of tube. Uh, first one is a breathing mode and the bending mode is a major uh, two main uh, vibration mode of tube. Uh, in this tube mode, we can find the it is better than the usual conventional structural steel. So yeah, it's better. And Data Steel and POSCO also provide uh, optimization solution uh, for the tube design. Uh, through participating in the EHC design, uh, we optimize the tube. Um, in optimized tube, we, we are combining uh, two uh, parameters. One is the material itself and also a structural uh, specification. Through that, we can find a better uh, specification. And at the bottom, you can see some uh, sample of optimization. Uh, first, tube, uh, the dimension of tube and big vehicles can be uh, assumed. Uh, at first, it's very, very rough. So with this, uh, we can also, also apply some loads and boundary condition, uh, like uh, gravity and the pressure and wind, snow, the temperature, also some vehicle load. Then uh, we do some uh, previous analysis a preliminary analysis with a, with a mixed combination of some one span of beam, one span of uh, tube, and with the adding of some beam element. Then we tried several times to find the uh, uh, result uh, which met, which met uh, meet the uh, criteria for the safety. Then after that, we did uh, the process with some uh, main, pro, uh, main analysis so using some a uh, five pan uh, tube and with uh, some connection, then we can find, we can do, we, we, did, we should do again for the trial and for this kind of process. And then we can have a final result and also do some thermal analysis, also dynamic analysis. Then through that, 
we can find a version of the, the tube. From now on, I'm, uh, I was talking uh, about the uh, first option of our effort. First one was uh, conventional steel and with optimizing with the new, new steel. And from now on, I want to talk about the innovative tubes. Uh, Fosco and Tata steel uh, are developing various uh, new types of uh, tube uh, for the hyperloop tube, uh, hyperloop. Uh, is we want do this, uh, some new types of tube, we will want to get some reduction of weight. And through the reduction of weight, we can do some environment lower environmental effect. And also, there is a big issue about the uh, large size tube, like uh, weight and uh, the dimension uh, in the transport, uh, in, in transport. And this issue is very big, so there is some limitation of uh, the, size, uh, the size of tube for passenger. So with that, we, if we can uh, solve this limitation of size and weight, we can increase uh, the hyperloop tube to uh, more uh, accom uh, accommodate more people uh, at first uh, in, in one time. So uh, I think it's a, it's a very uh, important uh, approach uh, to increase the capacity of the hyperloop. Uh, these three uh, tubes are one sample of our effort, and also there are many uh, <coughs> options there. I, I, I hope to introduce some more options in the next conference or some other meetings. post and Tata still turning a new concept uh, to reality uh, using the uh, established the uh, optimization, pro uh, optimization pro uh, process. Uh, we can reduce, uh, this picture shows uh, one sample of new types of tube. It's, uh, the whole things are framed and covered with the skin. And with this new type of tube, we can uh, reduce to up to 45% uh, uh, lighter than the conventional tube. Um, and also, we made some prototype for this kind of tube. And so we can find it's a feasibility of the making. And also, uh, we are trying to understand and we're trying to uh, apply this new uh, type of tube to the uh, EHC, which is uh, open to uh, the public uh, for the exchange of a slot. Uh, through that, we can, um, we hope to uh, find the ISO feasibility. And this, uh, that, that kind of tubes are, uh, now we are, uh, we are uh, uh, approaching to the reality for the EHS tube, tube. And so in the future, Tata Steel, uh, like this picture, uh, we hope to uh, apply to the EHC, which is made for the uh, new types of tube. And uh, so uh, as a result, we supply optimized tube steel for the tube and switch and for the track. And also we apply new types of tube EHC to evaluate, evaluate its applicability. And two things will be tested in the field. One thing is tube with new steel material and new types of, uh, the other things are uh, two new types of tube uh, for the field condition like a vacuum condition or pod running condition, temperature, change condition. Through that, we can support the hyperloop industry more smart and more sustainable. Thank you.